got some really scary news for Minnesota Vikings rookie Jalen Twyman, Mario. Uh, he was one of several people, uh, victims rather, who was, sh- uh, who was shot during a shooting in Washington, D.C. on Monday, Mario. He was shot four times in his vehicle. Uh, he was shot in the arm, legs, buttocks, and shoulder. Uh, but good news coming out of this, Mario, is that he is expected to be released from the hospital this weekend, and he's expected to make a full recovery. That man is Superman. Let me tell you something, Mario. Um, I have a statement from his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, Mario. It says, and I quote, wrong place, wrong time. And, take, and talking to him today, he's going to be okay. That's all that matters. We're thankful he's okay, and he will make a full recovery. He's 21 years old. He was the last pick by the Minnesota Vikings in this in this uh, last draft, Mario. He was the 199th pick by them uh, back in May. And before opting out of the 2020 season, Mario, he became the first interior defensive lineman to leave Pittsburgh in sacks 10 and a half in 2019 since Aaron Donald achieved that same feat six years ago. So this guy's got a lot of potential, Mario. Uh, the Vikings also said that they were in direct contact with him and, and his family, and they're extremely thankful that Jalen is expected to make a full recovery. And so are we. You know, usually most people, if that would happen, you know, one, one bullet hole is enough to kill somebody. So the fact that he survived four of them. That's that's incredible, Mario. But um, since this is your guy, I'll let you start off first. But before I do, uh, this article was written by Courtney Cronin, who is an ESPN staff writer. So your thoughts on Jalen Twyman getting shot, but is expected to make a full recovery? Well, look, the incident itself, it's again, it, it's very unfortunate. You know, it is a scary incident, but I'm glad he's going to be making a full recovery. This I, I was very aware of him. He was our last pick too, Nate. He took the 2020 season off uh, due to the uh, pandemic. He took the 2020 season off. But 2019, he was balling it. 20, 10 and a half sacks, the first defensive interior lineman to lead um, to lead Pittsburgh in sacks since Aaron Donald. You're in that company with Aaron Donald, so it's obviously an amazing feat. I had a, he has a lot of potential, Nate Jalen Twyman. A lot of potential. I'm telling you that right now, and I'm not saying that because of the incident. He has a lot of potential, and we took him with the 199 pick. And in case you guys, and you know what I find so interesting about that pick. One guy who was picked with the 199 pick, Nate, is a guy named, I don't know, Tom Brady. He was picked at 199. I'm not saying Jalen Twyman is going to be the next time. That's all I'm saying. But I'm saying, like, I I'm, I was very optimistic about Jalen Twyman. I'm going to be honest with you. He's very blessed. He's very blessed because that is four gunshots right there. And he's blessed that, again, these were in, these were in areas where it's like, Again, not so lethal, but still, they're obviously serious areas like the arm, the leg, the buttocks, and the shoulder. You can still bleed out, you know? There are people who get shot in those specific places, and they do bleed out. But he was able, again, to get the help that he needed in time, which, again, credit to the doctors in the hospital for um, for the work that they did with him. And I'm glad that not only is he going to be out of the hospital this week, Nate, but he is going to be playing this season. Look, I'm going to be honest. Like, man. That's that's bulletproof right there. Like I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like he was he was blessed that day, you know. But again, let me go back to it. All you people with guns, put them down. Okay, if you're gonna plan on shooting someone with a gun, put the gun down. There's no need to have it because of you because of because of these people whoever whoever it was that was decided to shoot, you hurt not only Jalen Twyman but you hurt others as well. It's not worth it. Okay, he went he went to Washington D.C. to see his uh. He went to Washington, D.C. to see his aunt, and then he was in his car, and that's what happened, Nate. Like, it's no need for it. Seriously, like, I'm tired of this gun violence, and, and, and I'm tired of this gun violence, Nate. It's getting, it's getting unacceptable. It really is. Now it's to the point where everybody's just shooting people because they want to shoot people. Like, seriously, put the guns down. If you're going to use your gun in, like, a gun range, or you're going to use, like, or you have, like, your own, like, like, board or, like, whatever you have, like, your own, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a place where, like, you can safely shoot a gun, that's fine. But if you're going to use your gun in an intent to harm someone or even harm yours, put it down. Simple. Like, there's no need for it. You know, sorry for the uh, noise if you can hear it, but it's completely unacceptable, Nate. It really is. And it shouldn't It shouldn't be happening. You know, what happened to Jalen Twyman? Again, I'm glad that he's okay. I'm glad he's going to make a full recovery. That is some good news. But this shouldn't have happened in general to begin with. You know, this is just unacceptable. So I'm glad that, but I am glad that J- Jalen Twyman ha- is making a full recovery. And I'm glad that this is not going to prohibit him from missing out on the season because I do have a lot of optimism on him. He's, he got drafted by the Vikings. Same thing with his uh, Pittsburgh teammate, Patrick Jones. They're both going, they're both on the Vikings now. 
So I'm glad that they're together. I had a lot of optimism in Jalen Twyman, and I still do. You know, and I hope that Jalen Twyman, again, this incident, it's unfortunate. It is a scary incident that happened, but I hope, like, he can use this, and I hope that he can, like, realize, like, hey, I'm really blessed to be alive right now. And not only that, I'm blessed to be playing for the, for in the NFL because not many people get the opportunity to do that. You know, it was almost taken away from me. And I hope he can use that as motivation coming into this season. I really do. But as of now, I'm glad that Jalen Twyman is okay. I'm glad that he's going to make a full recovery. And I'm wishing him the best of luck this season. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, best of luck to J uh, Jalen Twyman. You know, I'm glad he's doing okay. I'm glad he's uh, expected to make a full recovery. Let me explain something to you, okay? I'm going to piss off a lot of gun owners, all right? And I don't, really, I don't care at this point because I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. I don't care. I don't care if you're pissed off, if you're a gun owner, pissed off. I'm pissed off, too, and a lot of people are, too. Let me explain something to you, okay? I don't care what your beef is with somebody or if you want to go, because I know there was a couple of uh, mass shootings a few months ago, but somebody was pissed off that one day. Put the goddamn guns down. I am so sick and tired of the excuses. I, I, if you have a personal beef with somebody, you sit your ass down and you talk about it. Put the freaking gun down. I'm sick of it. Because the, you're hurting people in the process. All right? If you have a problem with somebody, you speak on it one-on-one. -on -one. Ain't nobody else going to be involved in that. Because by you picking up that gun, putting a bullet in it, and, and pulling the damn trigger, you're hurting everybody else. Those people got to provide to their families. Those people got to wake up in the morning and go to work. Those people got financial crises that they got to deal with. They got family matters that they got to deal with. They got friend matters that they got to deal with. They're human too. No, you're going to take it and one gun and one gunshot is all it takes for all of that to go down the drain. Six feet on the ground. That's all it takes is one gunshot. That's all it takes. Not, not one and a half, not, not two, three, four, one. One, that's all it takes to end everything that you have worked so hard for. I don't care if you're a gun owner and you go in the comments, oh, oh this is not, I don't care. It's your right to have a gun. Find out a problem with that as long as you're not going out there and shooting people. But I'm sick of this shit. I am. Now, I'm glad, now, you're lucky. Now, whoever shot this damn, this, these damn people up, you're lucky that this, that this man going to survive. Because this man, is providing for his family. You know, he's going to live his lifelong dream and provide for his family. I'm not sure if he has kids, but if he does or he does in the future, he's going to do right. that. But not only that, there's the other there's the other victims as well who are... Who exactly. Are you know, that's that's exactly my point. Right. I am wishing them I'm, the best of luck as well. Right, absolutely. I'm wishing those people... I'm wishing, I'm wishing those people a speedy recovery as well. Please do, because I, I, I've been keeping up with this and I haven't really heard a lot from it. But, like... Not only are you hurting Jalen Twyman, but you're hurting everybody else. And it goes to my point. These people have a life to attend to. And all it takes is one bullet to end that. That's all it takes. All right? If you're a gun owner, you support that. I don't have a problem with that. I don't. As long as you're not going to put a bullet in someone else. I don't have a problem with it. I don't care what your beef is. I don't care if that guy cheated, on your, uh, cheated with you on your girlfriend. I don't care if this guy said something about your family. I don't care if he did this, this or that to your friends. I don't care what he did. It does not give you an excuse to shoot that gun at that person. You have the opportunity to be the better person, but you're just going to take somebody else's life in the process. What does that make you? I, I'm, right. sick of, I'm sick of this stuff. I really am. Right, and um, one more thing. So, so they didn't. So they're still on the lookout for an actual vehicle, and it's it's posted in this uh, Twitter post below, and it may be involved in the shooting to injured Twyman. So they haven't found the guy. So I'll put the uh, I'll put the I'll put the Twitter post uh, in the description below too, so you guys know what the vehicle looks like. Right, right. It, it it's just so unfortunate, man. And like I don't now again. We don't really know a lot of the situation. We don't know what the motive was behind it. By the way, I don't care what the motive was. It's not an excuse. It, it's not. You know what I mean? So, right. Um, but with that being said, you know, I'm glad Jalen Twyman's doing all right. You know, I'm, I'm glad he's going to pull through. That's Superman right, right there. Right. Let me tell you and something. Not, and not only that, the uh, and the and all four of the men that were shot, they are expected to survive as well. So that's more you know, good news. Best, best of luck to them as well. You know, I'm glad they're gonna pull through as mm -hmm. well. You know, they're strong. They're strong people. You know, like I said, most in most cases, all it takes is one gunshot, and that's it. But these men are gonna make a full recovery, men and women. You know, I'm I'm glad that they're gonna 
no, I'm, I'm praying for them and their family. I wish them the best of luck. As for the gunman and whatever happened, you know, I hope the I hope law enforcement can find them because this needs to stop. It needs right. to. It's absolutely unnecessary. And, and don't get me wrong, you know, you have American rights, and I don't have a problem with that. You know, if you want to own a gun, fine. I don't have an issue with that. As long as you're not having the intent of putting a bullet in someone else, I don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? So if you own a gun, be smart with it. Put, and if you have beef with somebody, put the damn guns down, okay? It's not going to solve anybody else's problems. You know, you you trying to let out that aggression or you trying to solve whatever is, issue is with, your, with another person, with a gun, it's not going to solve your problem, buddy. If you got a problem, make the right decision, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Put the damn gun down. You speak one-on-one, -on -one, that's that. All right, that's really the best I have to say. But to all the victims, including Jalen Climate, you know, I'm glad they're going to make a full recovery. And I do wish them and their families the best of luck.